we have to have that courageous spirit that says, what can I do today? What can I do in this moment to express my character, to express my dreams, to get one step closer to extending my possibility? Gentlemen, what's going on? This is the Better Man Channel, where we choose to expand, extend, test our virtues, our character, to truly begin to test who we are, what we believe ourselves to be, to test the abilities of what we can be. Life is adversity. We can quickly see that, that adversity surrounds us in, in today's climate, politically, socially, economically. There's many crises at hand. And it's quick to, to draw back, or it's it's easy to draw back, and many people are quick to draw back. And, and rightfully so, we, we, we draw into what we know, what we're comfortable with, and we scan the horizons and the threats and begin to assess the situation. Rightfully so. But there comes a time in our lives when, when there's adversities, when there's problems, that we have to begin to have, have the courage, the bravery, to be bold, what the Greeks would call Andrea, that, that courageous spirit to, to move forward, to advance. And it's more than, or much more than just the word courage, it's actually the will to, to, to advance, the will to become more intellectually, spiritually, physically, to have the courage to be possessed by this courage, uh, to, to move you forward, to take advantage of the situation. We live in a world, even outside of all the current adversities, because there's always adversities, there's always reasons uh, to come up with excuses not to extend yourself, to draw into that, that comfortable living. But it's those that, that take the risk and have the boldness to move forward, to step out into the unknown, that, that are the pioneers. They're the pioneers of innovation. They're, they're the pioneers of the new spirit and, and, and maxim of each age. Those that are willing to take risk, those that that live by that courageous spirit that I want to think outside the box. And it's when we begin thinking outside the box that we're actually able to live outside of that box, that small little box that we've confined ourselves for so long because that's what everyone else has done. When we think outside of the box, we extend ourselves outside of that and we begin to live beyond the box. Those are the great innovators, the great pioneers of, of each generation that begin to think outside of the box and not only think, but they mix that with action and they extend their character. They extend their virtue. People take notice of that. We need a, a sustainable society, one built on tradition, one built on that ethos of being courageous and being able to not only adapt and adjust, but to stand strong in the root of of what you are and what you stand for. We want to be better men. It's time we start being bold. And I think many times what, what inhabits us and kind of cripples us from moving forward is that we think we have to go from zero to hundred, boom, boom. And we lose sight of that in between. But any great person that's achieved anything says it's that process. It's, it's what you learn in between that allows you to move another step. And so many times we, we prevent ourselves from, from taking that courageous step because we think you have to go from zero to 100 like that. And if not, then you're a failure. Being bold and being courageous is just standing up for what you believe in in that one step. What can you do within this one step? Are we bold enough to tackle what's in front of us and be bold enough to take the one step now? We don't have to change the world in one day. We just change this day. We be bold enough to face this day. Be bold enough to tackle the, the opportunities, to tackle the problems. I want to be bold enough today to become healthier, whatever means that may be for you. Maybe that means eat less or one less donut. Maybe that means take one more step, one more push-up. I want to grow intellectually. Then have the courage that that Greek word Andrea to 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 read an article, read one page of a blog, watch one minute of a YouTube video, 
have the boldness to tackle an opportunity right now. And if we'll start tackling those momentary opportunities and we begin connecting the dots, this opportunity of health, this opportunity of of mental capacity, I read an article, I read a book, I did this, and we start piecing these together day by day, we start seeing that we were bold enough to win that day. We don't have to be courageous and bold enough to go change the world all in one day, all in a week, all in a month. We have to be bold enough to change this day. I have to be bold enough to change my my ideologies. I have to be bold enough to stand up for what I believe when someone comes against that. I have to be bold enough to voice my, my truth in this conversation. Not to the whole world, but in this conversation. I have to be bold enough to ask myself the hard questions. I have to be bold enough to extend myself one step at a time. And whatever means that may be for you on an individual level, what can you do today to to be more bold, more brave, more courageous? And to have that courageous spirit that sees opportunity when everyone else draws back, you begin to possess that ability to move forward. Another step, another step. And you're not trying to go from zero to 100. You're just one step at a time. And that step leads to another step. And that step to another step. It's that incremental progress. We get too far out there in our minds thinking, I have to do this. I have to become that. No, you don't. All you have to do is take one step. Whatever you're facing today, whatever you want to become today, whoever you want to be, whatever you want to express, one step at a time. We begin to face those obstacles that are in front of us. Adversity offers us the opportunity to grow, to become stronger. That's the point of this channel. Becoming stronger. Sovereign over your choices, sovereign over your life. And in order to be absolutely in control of our life, we have to have that courageous spirit that says, what can I do today? What can I do in this moment to express my character, to express my dreams, to get one step closer to extending my possibilities? We all have those things in our lives that we can face, that that we can make uh, one step closer to becoming better becoming stronger, to becoming more sharper. Every one of us has those little things in our life that we've been avoiding. Today's the day to be bold. Today's the day to have that courageous spirit of how can I tackle this and wrestle with it and and become victorious one step at a time. I love you guys. You'll hear me next episode.